Open RAN is a very hot topic in the telecoms industry right now, but it's not new. Companies have been working on developments for years and are now sharing their insights. So I'm talking today with Sadayuki Abita. He's the VP and GM of the Radio Access Network Development Department at NTT Docomo, and Nozomu Watanabe, Senior Executive at NEC Corporation. So Sadayuki, as Open RAN initiatives gain traction in the telecom industry, can you tell us why NTT Docomo is actively promoting Open RAN globally and highlighting its significance and its benefits for digital service providers? Yes, uh, thank you for your question. So we started the Docomo 5G Open Partnership Program from uh, February 2018. Now it's 3,200 company and organization are participating in this program. And to work with them, uh, we are uh, creating new services. So uh, they are, most of them are particular player. Uh, so we create new services. So to realize uh, this uh, requirement, so various type of equipment. And uh, for, for instance, small uh, radio head or a large power uh, radio head for rural, metropolitan, indoor, stadium are needed. And so uh, in short time. So to, to uh, realize uh, those kind of service with uh, uh, different, different type of equipment is needed. So uh, open LAN, so open interface, uh, we can use a different uh, equipment from different vendors in short time. So uh, by selecting the uh, best breed of solution in the world, uh, we can reduce the time to market, we can avoid the uh, supply chain risk, and uh, we can reduce the cost. This is the main reason. And I want to address one uh, general misunderstanding about VLAN and ORAM. So open line is not just for the introducing new vendors, nor the VLAN. So uh, there are no need to separate existing vendor and new vendors. Uh, open interface uh, specified, and uh, if much vendor IoT can be guaranteed, then introducing new vendors is not much uh, problem. Uh, Docomo has uh, constructed much vendor uh, network for 4G uh, from day one. And uh, uh, just it started last year, and we add a uh, new vendor this year in same uh, geographical uh, areas. Thank okay, you. excellent, great points there. Um, uh, Nozomu, what kind of role is NEC playing in helping to promote Open RAN globally? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for the question. So yes, we are one of the first company in the world to supply RAN compliant radio units, centralized units, and distributed units to operators in Japan. So our products support open architecture and developed by leveraging expertise of optical and wireless technologies with high quality and reliability that Japan is renowned for. And we aim to expand the delivery of these products to not only Japanese market, but also global market. And centering around our innovative products, NEC takes an open ecosystem approach by collaborating with various cutting edge partners to realize the open RAN deployment. Uh, in the open architecture world, service providers are able to choose from diversified supply chains from the best of breed approach. And NEC can help CSPs to build up the most suitable network, which accommodates with the diversified 5G use cases and requirements. This brings flexibility and efficiency throughout the network lifecycle from design, deployment to operation and maintenance. So through these efforts related to Open RAN, we believe NEC is best positioned to contribute to faster time to market for launching new mobile services around the world. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, Sadayuki, in NTT, Docomo's view, uh, what are the key factors that will help Open RAN initiatives to gain traction and grow in popularity amongst service providers? 
Yes, uh, open interface is a key. So open interface now is defined with CGPP and ORAM. As mentioned, we have already deployed our open LAN network using the uh, CGPP interface and ORAM interface. So between the 4G and 5G network, uh, we use the X3 interface defined by uh, CGPP and the detail profile defined in ORAM. And uh, we have three uh, eNodeB vendor, so 4G vendor, and uh, we have two uh, GNOB, so 5G vendors now. And all the combination we have already uh, supported uh, through the open interface. So any place uh, we can introduce that new vendors. So open interface is a uh, key. And uh, in addition to the open interface, uh, interoperability between the uh, vendors is important. So to uh, realize interoperability between the vendors, we specify the test specification in uh, ORAM. And we also uh, started the uh, Open Test Integration Center, uh, so-called OTIC, in ORAM. So this OTIC uh, vendor brings the equipment, and we can do the interoperability testing between the different vendors. Okay, excellent. Yes, those are, are very important developments for the service provider community. Uh, Nozomu, um, what does NEC offer to network operators and service providers that can help to accelerate the deployment of Open RAN? Hmm. Well, yes, um, NEC is a unique company which can deliver a value proposition as a product solution vendor, as well as a network NFVI system integrator. So as a product solution vendor, NEC can manufacture and supply many elements which service providers need for 5G services. We have our cutting edge radio units, high reliable end-to-end -end network solutions, including 5G core, telco cloud, service orchestrator, and OSSPSS. And the most important value here is that NEC supports the industry standard open interface and can offer a multi-vendor catalog from which our customers can choose to build an optimum 5G network. And as an open ecosystem enabler, NEC is capable of ensuring the interoperability and network quality under multi-vendor environment. And in addition, we have a wealth of expertise in IT technologies, such as AI, virtualization, and security, and also have rich experiences in building communications infrastructure with a certain level of quality, stability, and reliability required for operators. So by delivering these values, our ambition is to drive open architecture innovation within the industry for flexible 5G services. Okay, excellent. Um, now, as we've already heard, uh, Open RAN is a very hot topic, but it's already here. It's already been deployed. So, Sadayuki, can you tell us about NTT Docomo's existing commercial deployment of Open RAN in Japan and the benefits that Docomo has seen from this deployment? Yes, uh, as you know, the, so we already launched the 5G commercial service with uh, multi vendor RAM. And uh, that means that uh, any uh, combination between the different vendors uh, we can achieve in same geographical area. The good thing, uh, we can select the vendors uh, which uh, can uh, provide in time to market and uh, low cost. So anytime we can change, uh, choose the vendors, uh, a good, uh, Vendors, uh, which is a uh, best, which has a very, very uh, best solution in that time, and uh, even though the uh, a vendor uh, schedule has delayed, uh, different vendor can provide that uh, equipment, so we can continue to our services. So we can also reduce the uh, risk of the delay uh, to selecting the multiple vendors. If the single vendor solutions, some area has. Uh, some vendor has an issue and delayed, the area uh, will be, uh, can't uh, provide that, those services. But uh, in our case, uh, we can provide the service in anywhere, even though the uh, vendor has some delay. 
Now, uh, NEC and NTT Docomo have been partners for quite a long time. So, uh, Zomu, can you just tell us about how NEC and NTT Docomo are collaborating and partnering to promote and accelerate open RAN deployments around the world? Mm, yes. Well, firstly, we will be cooperating on promoting open RAN together through various activities such as ORAN Plugfest and other initiatives related with open source community. We will work together on creating an environment to test and validate the interoperability of multiple open RAN equipment from various vendors and to widen the proven combination of products which can be used as part of an open RAN ecosystem. And in parallel, we will actively participate on standardization activity to make the open standard interface more mature and to eliminate the ambiguity for interoperability. And through those activities, we will drive the realization of a flexible and efficient open RAN ecosystem with the best of breed products from various vendors, including ours. Secondly, we will cooperate on creating new values to our customers, strengthening our competitiveness by bringing the both companies' assets and technologies together. The objective of our strategic partnership is to expand our business and contributions to the global market by combining the technologies, experiences, and assets from both sides of an operator and a vendor. So we are aiming to deliver our innovative solution and values to the global market as a trusted partner for digital service providers. Excellent. Well, it's been really interesting to hear today how NEC and NTT Docomo are helping to accelerate the open RAN ecosystem around the world. So Sadayuki and Nozomu, thank you very much for talking with us today. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much.